Hey guys, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. This is episode two. We're starting today with me and Fireweaver on another glorious Sunday. How are you doing, Fireweaver? I am good, and I'm super happy to get back into this. It was a big cliffhanger last time. It was. I'm ready to get back into this too. I love this game. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... I'm trying to help you, Bigby. Hmm. What is it with you? How come we became prime? Always suspect. trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? That's enough of a reason. No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Uh, that's a little random. Are you okay? You don't look so good. De Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Surprise. And everyone died, apparently. Wow, this is a pretty crazy opener. Yeah. Oh. You have to go now. Uh, what did you do? What did you do to her? Yeah. She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Alrighty then. <laughs> so, uh, this has apparently caught enough attention to get the, uh, Mondays involved, so to speak. Well, especially as Snow was his assistant, right? Yeah. But we don't want the actual, like, real people to get involved. This is a fairy tale business sort of thing. Thanks for the bailout, actually. Thanks for bailing me out. 
certainly. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. He's working for somebody. And whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. No, they're definitely involved somehow. Yeah. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. It's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. It's the problem with Telltale Games. As soon as you like someone... Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I think. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. Uh, she just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. Yeah. I don't really remember what the last thing she told me was. I don't know what to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Oh, he wasn't happy about that. Slamming the door. It's cool, he's got progressive. <laughs> Just like every other fairy tale creature, apparently. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though nice. I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. I know you're up to something. What is it? Well, right now I'm sitting here having a laugh. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Interrogation minigame. All right. There's multiple ways we can handle this. I know this. you enjoy my company, <laughs> but well, I'd like to be no off. straps. Uh, no, oh, sorry, straps. I, I meant violence. Um, can we take off his straps? Do you mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers. Yeah, actually. Ah. Oh. 
That's better. We're gonna make Bluebeard really up. angry Look here in a second. We're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother. Is this softly, softly Captain night? Monkey? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Y yeah, Take basically. Your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Um. Oh, I got Please this. Suck him. I want to hit him with this thing. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. I get it, I do. But I can't tell you what I don't know. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Faith? You went to find well, Faith's yeah, what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. Ooh. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Sorry, what were you saying? Anyone oh, can see this isn't working. It's time to try a different tactic. Everyone's talking, not but yet. you might just have to butt in. Uh, not yet. It's a heavy dialogue section. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, let's give him a bit of uh, whiskey. Looks like he's gotten beat up just and probably go, right. probably's in a bit of pain. Might help. You just carry this around. Always handy that way. I couldn't hurt, I guess. Loosen his tongue, maybe? Look, Big B. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Ah, let me handle this. Come on, D. What did you good. want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. What did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Have a smoke. Yeah, I was gonna say, He's big cop, bad, uh, big cop, bad cop here, really. Yeah. Potentially. I'm saving that. Oh, my bad. Here you go. Here. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Want to see a trick? <clears throat> Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Let him talk. Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done! <laughs> What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? I'm grabbing him. Mince me. Yeah, you should. 
Oh, action sequence. Oh, in the face. Or chest, or face. Q, 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 What's going on down here? What? Well, this is a bit weird. Snow. So Faith might not be dead either then. Maybe, but uh, we'll find out next time on uh, Wolf Among Us Episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.